back in 2002. There's a look at the home of the Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, we've got a week five matchup in store here as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the New England Patriots. season already in the rear view mirror and off we go in week five on EA Sports. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. First and 10 now from the 33. Alave motioning to the left. Ritter looking to put it up right away. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. This defense for the Patriots, they were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. A gain there of 30 big ones. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. Now Ritter. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Ritter headed right off the option. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. But that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, OK, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Camara fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Alvin Kamara, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Saints get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Go. 
Now a play fake here on first down. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Down the right sideline. And all the way. The strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to reap. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown. Chris Olave, 68 yards. And the Saints have taken the lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now you look at the Saints defense. They come into this one ranked number five in the NFL against the run. I still crack up a little bit after we left our meeting with the defensive coordinator because I said to you, stop me if you've heard this before. <laughs> How about him saying, well, first order of business, we got to stop the run. Of course you do. He's got a good unit, but facing the number one rushing team, they have to stop that in order to have a good performance. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Rookie quarterback, rookie running the campaign. And they've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now it's second and six. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Third and three. Hurry, hurry. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a first and 10. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. 
That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Man in motion left, that's Smith and Jigba. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. He may go. And he will score. Touchdown. The point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Ryan, up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Charles, this offense, they've been on a roll. Two drives ago, they scored. Remember, last drive was that one play touchdown strike, so now they're looking to make it three for three. You know, I talked to a Hall of Famer one time about, hey, when you're on defense and these types of things are happening to you, what goes through your mind? And he told me at that point, it's not about schemes. It's not about what's called from the sideline. It's about players. Who's going to make a play, make a stand, and stop this offense from doing what they've been doing? Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward now the first play of the drive there is incomplete i tell you what that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the nfl a lot of rookies are trying to force something there he thought better of it and that was the right decision second and ten He'll drop to throw. He gets this to Thornton. Touchdown, Patriot. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. Ten cycles. Ritter to throw it. Flush to his right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Malik. 
Malik Harrison charges in there hard and drops him for a loss of 12 from that outside linebacker position. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. A game there of 30 big ones. Sometimes the one-handed catches are unnecessary, but he was trying to ward off the defender with the other, so maybe there that was just a good play. So that tells you that not only do they imagine those types of catches, they actually work on them with defenders jostling them in order to keep their concentration in holiday. Ritter cannot escape, and they bring him down. Two-minute warning. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Ritter. Flushed out right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And unable to connect, incomplete. Well, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. And this is away, it's a high kick, and he got all of it. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. First down, here's Mitchell. Demario Davis there on the stop. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side, and that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw out. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. This is second and eight. They'll look to throw again. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll take it into the end zone for here just before halftime. The extra point by Ryland up and good. And the lead now up to 14. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. Rolling to his right. Smart decision by Ritter. Sliding down, and he's got the first. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they establish that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. They run over center with Mitchell. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Go, go, go. Check three, check three, check three. Elliott running right. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the back. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Hey, defense. Seven Pirates, seven Pirates. Hurt, hurt. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Back to throw here. Short pass caught by Henry. And this effort won't do it. He needed to get to the 45. He's a yard or two short. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So did you suspect the same thing that I did, that they were lining up just to draw them off sides here? 100%. Well, how about that? They were going for it the entire time. Never a question in his mind about going ahead and getting it, despite where they were on the field. Yeah, I don't know if you heard it in my voice when they snapped the ball. I was like, oh, I almost wasn't ready to call the play. I just kept waiting for the timeout offensively. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. From the gun, a give to Mitchell. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four and second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. 
On the counter, Elliott. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Would have been a decently long field goal, 51 yards from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They're going to look to throw. The game after having three in the first half. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now to this point. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll try and pick it up with Mitchell. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A great play there. The extra point by Ryland up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's into the end zone. The house, two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Here we go. Here's second and ten. Ritter will set up to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Go and play action. Ritter, he'll buy some time right. Let's this one rip toward Graham. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Saints first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificial as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Kill, kill, kill. On play action, here's Ritter sliding out of the pocket. Throwing out right here, caught by Alave. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. He's got his running back out of the backfield. Touchdown, Saints. Alvin Kamara. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Saints get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Now the Saints offense will remain on the field and go for two. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. Got to the field, fired up about another chance to get it to the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Short pass caught by Henry. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him. You know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. In motion, Gesicki. Now, this 
this time he'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So this offense able to convert on fourth. And now a fresh set of downs here. First and 10. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll work. They work now on second and nine. That one looks like he'll throw here. Out left and complete to Thornton. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Good gain there on first down, and keeps them in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him, ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. 49 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Looking to throw. Throwing into traffic there, and that's complete. Now we'll get whistles, and they've signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Set the tone, defense. Set the tone, defense. Let's go. He's coming. He's coming. 19, Tiger. 19, Tiger. Check the backer. Check the backer. Check 37. Check 37. 60 Maverick. 60 Maverick. 56. Big stop. Ready. They'll drop to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Mike Gesicki, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are well on their way to a 5-0 start.